Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna catch a mouse in the barn with this very old style mousetrap. Now an example very similar to this one is in the collection of the National Museum of American History. That one was purchased in Virginia and dates between 1750 and 1850. And back then these handmade traps were commonly used in houses and barns to deal with the mouse problem. The idea is pretty simple. It's a wooden box with a lid that closes when the mouse pulls on the bait. The bait is a piece of corn cob with a peg holding open the door. The mouse will go inside and tug on that and when it does, it closes. Hopefully it doesn't get wedged. I'm gonna have to put this farther back to make sure we catch a mouse without it getting squished or its tail getting smashed. So let's add some peanut butter on our corn cob, set this up in the barn and see if we can catch a mouse with this very old style mouse trap. Well, even though this is a very old mousetrap design, it works well. Last night, we caught a double. Two different mice tried to get the bait at the same time, pulled on that corn cob, and the lid closed. They're trapped inside. I love testing out old mousetrap designs. On my channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. I've posted over 800 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. Now what we caught are not native deer mice, instead they're non-native invasive house mice. Because they're not part of the natural ecosystem, I can't let them go. Instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a double mouse snack. <laughs> 